Are you high right now? Nah, here right now. My fuck. Care to share on what exactly? Fucking moon rock. <laughs> God damn, Zy. Some, some high dip. I'm on a lot of shit. Well, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, that's what I'm on. That's what I'm smoking on. And why are you high? Cause like, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I, I see, see, I see, I see. But like, I'm working on it. I was half, I be half on reason, but that's what I'm saying. Like, she be getting lame to me for real. I'm one of the people she get lame to. Like, she getting lame to me. Like, we really getting lame to me. It's like, I done been high as you can ever be. Like, I already done been that high before. Like, I don't be getting no higher once I hit that level. Like, and I've been, I done said, I've been smoking since I was 11, 21, that's 10 years. Like, I can go with that. I, I be feeling like shit. I need to start smoking one day. Like, and I'm thinking about doing that shit. So I'm thinking about that shit. I'm probably just talking shit. But, but like, it's shit. It's like, nah, real talk though. It's getting like, like, I just be smoking because, like, I'm used to smoking now. You feel me? I just be bored, like, and I'm like, shit, might roll up. I'm used to smoking. Or oh, I always, I always got the access, so I roll up type shit. But, like, yeah, that shit getting lame, though. Like, like, fuck, like, fuck smoking weed. Like, fuck smoking that shit. Like, it's getting, it's just getting lame, cause like, it's something like, you know how it be, you always got access to some shit, it's like, fucking the same bitch, you always fucking this bitch, like, damn, shit, eventually, like, you gon', I been fucking you for 10 years, like, I might, I might cut you off in a little bit, like, been fucking you for 10 years, same shit with weed, like, I been, 10 years, shit, by the time, like, let you go. <laughs> I stopped for some, a little break, some. Shit. Was it because of this interview in particular, by any chance? That I sm the stop some weed? That you sm that you are high right now? Did um, it have anything to do with this interview? It had more to do with the car ride than the interview for me. I don't like. I got ADHD, and like, I can't be doing that shit. Like, like, but everybody handled it different though, because I know other people with that shit, but. I'm one of them people like with that shit like I don't I don't like being I like I I can be still and, and do that shit but I get to thinking and shit and once I start thinking about too much shit that I can't do nothing but I'm ready to start trying to do that shit and if I can't do that shit like being in the car or like being in the crib or anything I'm gonna just smoke it made me want to just smoke you feel me on some boards so it made me it made me want to run in and roll up or some shit. Like, now this ADHD that you just referenced here, is this a self-diagnosis or was this something you've been diagnosed by a professional for? Professional, like test and all, like, yeah. Like, I mean, therapy, still. So when it comes to marijuana, when you first started smoking at the age of 11, was that for medical purposes or just recreational? Just being bad as hell at 11, <laughs> the fuck? Ain't no I hope no live you out here smoking no reefer. But yeah, I would just be in bed. And how often do you use it at this point in your life? When I want to. That's what I'm saying though. See, like, see, I know people who just gotta smoke every day. I'm not one of those people. Like I can but I can get to smoking now. I can smoke with your ass now, but I ain't gotta smoke every day like and I be having that shit, but I like, I don't be, I don't gotta smoke every day, like for real. I wasn't feeling good like last week. I had thought I had scrub throat or some shit. And the whole time I was, I was like, fuck that, I ain't smoking nothing. Like I wasn't about to smoke no damn scrub throat. I was gonna wait till my, I had to wait till my damn throat feel good. Like wait like three days, two, three days. I just went without smoking, like easy. Like, but I, I ain't want to shit. That scrub throat shit, nothing to play with. I ain't wanna get scrub throat. Shit felt like it was coming, but now nah, it's crazy. But, yeah, I can go without that shit. And what does marijuana do for you exactly at this point? Shit, that's the thing. That's where I was getting, I told you it's getting lame now. Like, I done been high as you can be, like, and I can function on weed. So it's like, it's not really getting me high. It's like, that shit, yeah, purse, yeah, purse. Yeah, you know about them purse. Purse do more for me than weed, like, shit. Purse, and then really, Perks really just compliment the weed. Now then it make weed the weed enjoyable. You feel me? If you pop a perk and then smoke the weed, then it's better. Then it's like, yeah, you can vibe about this shit. Like, 
But just smoking weed, like, nah, that shit, that shit getting regular. Like, I done been that high. I always be that high that niggas be smoking. Like, I always be that high. Like, I'm just saying, I always be that high. Like, for me, it's getting boring. Like, I got to find, like, yeah. Mm, yeah. Is it a type of marijuana you smoke? Mm, yeah, like, type shit. If I'm a cop, some weed, it's gonna be some rap, like, some rap. That's what I'm saying, like, I done smoked the best rap of life. Like, I done smoked the best rap a lot of times, shit. Every time I wanna cop, I wanna cop the best rap, shit. I wanna cop the smoke, like, I'm gonna be the best rap. But, shit, I done been like, what, like, I'm a, I'm a man by new experiences and trying new shit and living life and seeing shit, man, like, Smoking the same shit is going like, it's not like, it might be cool, but it's not impressive. Like, I I keep smoking this shit, like, it's, it's cool or whatever. Again, I ain't no. Particular strain you do enjoy? Particular strain? That's yeah, is there a name for it? What strain? Shit. I ain't gonna lie. The, uh, I think Money Bear, he got some shit called Truffles, like, Money bed triples or whatever the fuck that shit he be talking about, like, yeah, that shit, yeah, that shit, it's worth the hype, like, yeah, I fuck with that, that truffles, like, if you know, you know, that truffles like that. Care to share what you use to smoke it? Bad wood, bad wood, but like, really, I like, I like gang leave dark, if you know, that's the only one, gang leave dark, but like, if you know, you know, but like, bad wood, for sure, wood. Particular flavor of backwoods. Honey bourbon is my favorite backwood. And just for transparency, are you sponsored by any of these strains or brands you just mentioned here? I am sponsored by JD Ante. I'm about to make my strain in a couple of days. So, but not for I'm about to. Ever consumed a synthetic version of marijuana? <clears throat> Hey, oh, matter of fact, I think I, nah, I did. Nah, somebody tried to say, like, man, somebody tried to say I gave them some shit like that before. But nah, that wasn't no synthetic shit, though. Like, that shit was bad, though. Like, that shit was some sweat. I did get brushed some sweat, but, like, it wasn't synthetic, though. Like, he was trying to say, but nah. nah. Asking you respectfully here, are you addicted by any chance? To marijuana. Hell yeah. I tell you, I've been doing this shit for 10 years. This sound like a fucking addiction to me. Shit, I'm addicted, shit. Even though, like, but see, nah, see, nah, see, hold on. Let's back up. Let's back up because I just told you, I can, I can go without that shit for real, though. So would you call that addiction if you can go without it? If you've been doing something for like years, but you can go without that shit? I don't know. Do I call that addiction or not? Mm hmm. I was about to call that eviction, but I just told you I went day. I can I can go without that shit. Like if I tell myself like, all right, Jody, let's go seven days without that shit. I'm gonna do that shit for real. Like, tell you like something wrong with me. Like, I can do that shit. So I don't know, but I've been doing it for ten years. So I don't know if you call that addiction. Is Percocet the only other drug you use recreationally aside from marijuana? She currently, <laughs> shit right now. I used to, I didn't do other shit, but like, Perkins, like, that, I, I feel like, nah, I done found some shit that I ain't got, like, I done, I ain't doing nothing else, like, I ain't exploring no more drugs and shit, I already done did all that, I'm 21, I know what I like to do, I'm gonna keep it like that, I ain't got to do nothing too much. When it comes to Percocet, did that start out medically, or was that just recreational? It started off medically, and that's crazy as fuck. And then it should have never started off like that. And my mama gave me my first perk. That was so crazy. But yeah. Care to shed some light on that? Oh, yeah. Uh, I was in that first part of my time, and she, I had a fucking toothache. And I had called my mama, like, Ma, I had, I'm like, I got a toothache. Like, what the hell? I, like, I'm like, what do I do like, for my toothache? You feel me? Because I, I wasn't staying with her at the time. She like, I don't know, like you um, you feel me? Ain't, ain't really nothing you can do for no two fake. So like, she like, ain't nothing I can, like, ain't nothing you really can do. She like, I got some medicine at the house, at my house. You got to come over here and go get it, though. It's in the cabinet. I'm like, all right, 
too her medicine, like shit. Too, you know, too fake. You gonna go, you gonna go get that medicine, like whatever she talking about, like, cause my shit was fucked up. I, I was going to get it. So I went to go my mama's house, and I go in the cabinet, and I look. And the first time, I ain't even know she meant this kind of medicine. It's just the fact, shit. I was 18, my first place. I ain't had no fucking medicine in my shit. I ain't, that's the last thing. I don't think about some fucking medicine. But I look in the cabinet. I see a fucking prescription bottle. And it's like, oh, like, oh, hell no. Nah. I ain't know she meant this kind of medicine. She, like, she had this kind of medicine. I was talking about some ibuprofen or some shit. I thought that's what she was talking about. She done gave me prescription and shit. Now, I done heard about perks, man. I done heard about them shit, like... And I hear about them shit, but I ain't never took one though. I ain't never took a perk, so it's different. But I got a toothache though, so it's like, oh yeah, I'm about to take the fuck out of this person that day. Like, so I got them shit, and I looked at the bottle, and it say the perk said shit or whatever. And I just knew, I ain't even, and my, my brother was there. I, I think I was talking about brother or some shit, but I had went home, and I knew, like, I said, I ain't even gonna take this shit till I get home. I waited till I got home, then I took the perk, and I took, like, you know, I'm a smart nigga, like, I took that shit, like, before I took that shit, I got to do my, like, research, because I ain't never took that shit, like, for, like, so I did my research and shit, and I had to do my research, they was like, don't mix it with marijuana, don't mix the purpose with marijuana or some shit, so, I know they saying that shit, like, I'm like, nah, they all niggas always smoke with purpose and shit, so my, I took the shit from my tooth, the perk from my tooth when I got home, and I rolled up, by the time I rolled up, the fucking perk was kicking in and shit, like, I sparked, and I felt it like, I was just, I wasn't thinking about my fucking tooth. I started getting high for real, like, I was like, yeah, let me spark the blunt, see what they talking about, like, just to see, like, just to see what the fuck they really, like, what they meant. So I sparked that shit up. Niggas started getting so fucking high, like, yo, what the fuck, like. And then, yeah, like, ever since that day, like, she put me on perk. But, like, I ain't saying, like, I be on them bitches every day, now, but, like, yeah, every see that day. My mom introduced me to the person. Right? I, I, yeah. So not prescribed by a professional, but your mom here. Same shit, basically. My mom, shit, that's a professional. Kind of. Like, you you know your mama say something. That's like, you know, your teacher tell you to do some shit. Your mama tell you to do some shit. You go and listen to your damn mom. Like, that's a professional. Shit. But just for clarification, is your mother in the medical field at all? She actually is now. Ain't that shit crazy? She actually is now. Care to share what she does in the medical field? I ain't gonna lie though. She something in that middle. She something. She something. She, I don't know all that. I can't tell you right off the top, goddamn, but she can, hey. I don't know, but she still, she, shit, my mom still trying to be better than whatever, whatever she is right now. Like, she gonna be even better than that, so shit. Mm. And what does Percocet do for you exactly at this point? Yeah, I tell you, it, it complement the weed for me, like, for real, like, it just, that shit get me higher, like, it get me the high I want to be, like, when I say smoking weed be boring and shit, when I pop the perk, it made smoking weed fun again, you feel me, it bring that fun back, like, when I was 11 smoking that shit, or 13 smoking that shit, when I pop the perk, it makes sense again, like, it's like, okay, now I'm actually, like, uh, enjoyable high, like, I'm not just high. Like, I be just high as fuck. I, be, like, I don't like being just high as fuck. Like, right now, I'm just high as fuck. Like, yeah, like, nah, like, if I'm about to pop a perk, then I know, like, yeah, I'm about to be, like, I'm about to be groovy. Like, it's about to be some bullshit. Like, I'm about to be feeling good. Like, oh, that perk. Hey, perks. <laughs> hey, I know some niggas when that, hey, when them perks, hey, I know some niggas when them perks on the way, them niggas start smiling, boy, them niggas start dancing. Niggas start, nah, for real, niggas start jumping around. Like, niggas get happy with a person, I'm telling you. Nah, for real. Ever consumed a fake Percocet? Hell nah, and I don't even, shit. Shit, hell nah. I, I don't even want you to jinx that. But, like, I do check out my perks, though, for I take them the best way I know how to check them with the light. Free on thug, you know, you talk to the little shit with the flash, like, you put them on light. And shit, and if it glow is real, like, yeah, all my shit been real, as far as I know. And I don't take them, a lot of perks that be fake be them 30s and shit. I don't take them 30s and Roxy's and shit. I do regular perk 10, like perk 10s and shit. Asking you respectfully here, but are you addicted to Percocet by any chance? 
that'd be matter of fact. Okay, I get it now. That's the same reason I say no. I'm not addicted to marijuana now because I can go like long period of time without that shit and not want it. Like I be like, I ain't had no per, I ain't had no per in a minute. But like, I'm straight without that shit. Like, I ain't had no per in some days. Like, it been some days, but like. I'm not thinking about no per. I'm not hurt. I'm not feeling to get no per. Like I'm not feeling to smoke no weed either. I'm not. I don't care about that shit. Like I, you know how many damn pers and weeds I don't did. Like so no, nah, I ain't. I wouldn't say I'm addicted just because like I can go without that shit. I feel like addiction is some shit you can't go without. Like if I couldn't go without that shit, it's certain shit I can't go without though. But weed a pers not it. Like, I can go without that shit for real. Like, I really can. I can cut my. I can cut my mind off that shit. Have you quit any drugs you've used in the past? Hell yeah, I quit a lot of shit. Xanax, I used to take Xan, like for real. And like, see, I used to take Xan, I used to smoke blacks, I used to smoke cigarettes, I used to smoke vapes, all that shit. And I quit that shit. That's how I tell you, like, I can quit some. That's how I know I, I can tell you I can quit some or I can't quit this. And I can tell you what's hard, what's hard to quit, when it wasn't that hard to quit, or like, what was, you feel me? Like, cigarettes. People say that shit addictive. That's that was the easiest shit for me to stop smoking, like, cause like I guess like every time I probably smoke like. Now when I was eighteen, I started buying a buying a pack like every day, like not every day, but like every week, every other week type. I started buying a bitch by the pack consistently, like reading up on the pack when I ran out, type shit like. But and I probably smoked shit eighteen and nineteen, yeah, about two years for real, for real, but like. Damn, smiles. I'm high as hell. What was the question again? Have you quit any drugs oh, you've yeah. used oh, in yeah. the past? I'm cigarettes, yeah. Shit. Um, yeah. Cigarettes. They not that a, yeah, they not that addictive. Yeah. I can stop smoking cigarettes anytime. It's like shit. Every time, every time I pull the cigarette out, I just ain't. I just went like, I smoked that shit, but it's like, yeah, I'm gonna stop these shits one day. Like every time I smoke like, yeah, I can't be smoking these shit forever. Like every time I hit the pole, I'm telling myself like, nah, I can't be on these shit. And I probably smoked for two years, but like, yeah, I'm off them shit. But I ain't gonna care though. Like, nah, don't get me wrong. A Lucy, nah, nah, I see somebody like smoking a cigarette and shit. I'm outside. We everybody outside or some shit. Let me get a cigarette. I might be like, let me get a cigarette. You feel me? I might just fuck around, get a cigarette that day, like, and smoke the cigarette. But like, or I might go crazy one day, but like, shit, I'm gonna smoke cigarettes. Like, say, for instance, I go out of town and see my brother or something. And shit, his people, one of his people smoke cigarettes or something. Like, shit, I might fuck around. Let me get a cigarette out there. And just because I know, like, shit, I ain't about to be around cigarettes for a little minute. I might well just go in here and just, I can smoke this shit. Nah, I ain't about to be around when I get back home. Shit, I ain't going to be no, I ain't going to be nowhere near no cigarettes. What about Xanax? How were you able to quit that? Oh, uh, um, uh, how did I quit Xanax? Oh. Shit. Um, fuck around. See, that's what I'm saying. And when I went to college, I ain't go to college like I didn't go to college from high school. Like I went from college from the streets for real. Like I was on. Um, it would niggas be on Zans in high school. I ain't gonna say it like, but niggas wasn't on what I was on at like in high school, at the high school or uh, none of that shit. Period. I was on that grown man shit for real, for real. But, but like, it just the shit I was on. I couldn't be on that in college like and Zans is one of them shits I couldn't like you can't you can't do that shit in college like you can but like not my not at my school and me being me like still trying to be a rapper and all that shit and on top of all that and on Zans and all that like fuck nah you can't hell yeah, nah you gotta Zans and hell you not on top of that shit like you gotta stay on if you wanna be on top of some shit you can't take no fucking Zan you take a Zans you you with some niggas you trust nigga and you nothing like me Shit, or you probably like how I was, how I used to be, but you not like me no more. I'm a, I'm a whole new nigga. I'm a clone. I'm a whole clone out here. I don't even know. So is it the flip of a light switch, so to speak? Nah, for real, nah. I ain't gonna care. Like, she would just, I would just, I ain't gonna care. Nah, fuck that. Like, nah, I, I done did some embarrassing shit off his of end a couple times. Like, I done did some shit, embarrassing shit. I done did shit like. I done did shit to this day and I don't even like, damn, I did that shit like, I done did some shit like, shit I mean, say like, I done did some shit, some more shit, shit I mean, say like, in another way, type shit too, like, I did a whole lot of shit like, I shouldn't even really say. I did, like, I done did some shit like, I must, I guess I can give you something like I did, I'm saying. 
Nah, I shouldn't even say none of that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I done did a lot of shit I shouldn't speak on, you know what I'm saying? Like, not that I can't speak on, but it's that I shouldn't. It's best if I don't speak on that shit on the Zenit, like, type shit. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's best if I don't speak on that shit on the Zen type shit. And then you don't even remember half the shit. But, like. So, how did you quit it? You just stopped taking them? That's the thing about me, though. Like, I, I tell you, like, I tell myself, like, I be talking to myself, like, for real. I be telling myself, like, if I tell myself some shit, I'm gonna believe me. I believe, I'm all like, shit, I'm all I fucking got, shit. I believe myself, shit. If I tell myself something, I know that shit. If I say, yeah, we gotta stop taking these in, cause, like, this shit fucking with us, how we how we handling business, like, or anything, or whatever it's, it's fucking up, I know I ain't playing myself, like, I ain't playing myself. I'm not. I already know, like, I gotta handle business, like, I got shit to do. And if anything fucking up, the business getting handled, then that shit got to go. People and all, women and all. Were you addicted to Xanax at one point? I was. Now that was, I was addicted to that shit. I couldn't stop for I mean, like for real. And this, this I know I was, this I see, I ain't say about the person weed, but the Xan's like shit, I was trying to stop. I was like shit, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna just go to a half. Shit, I said that shit, I start popping the fucking half pill every day. I mean, I'm still addicted. I'm still on the shit, half the shit every day. Thinking I'm doing better, cause I ain't on the whole shit. But the half shit ain't no fucking better than the whole one. Taking this shit every day like me, man. But shit, I don't take no shit no more. That shit, yeah, that's, that's old me. And that was a whole, like, that shit fucked with how I talk. Like, like, real talk, I had to learn how to talk again. And now, like, I had to learn through the videos. Like, when I used to look at old videos of me and be like, damn, I had to pay attention. Like, damn, I don't even talk like that no more. Like, my speech was so fucked up and shit. I know people used to be like, damn, why he talk like that? Like, but it's because I was on them fucking pills. I was, and they put shit in them pills too. Probably like, and they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I know they do. Like, I probably was on that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what the fuck was in them shit. Like, ain't no telling though when you take them Zan. That's the whole, that's the Zan. That's the Zan for your ass. But, but, yeah. How long were you addicted to Xanax for? Rough estimate. Shit. Matter of fact, I had my two, my first Zan. Oh my God, I forgot about it. I took my first Zan when I was 16, but I was it. Oh, that night was crazy as fuck. I took my first Zan when I was 16. And it lasted, it lasted until I was 19, yeah, 16 to 19. And it sounds like you were weaning yourself off from taking a whole Xanax pill to a half a pill and then how did you actually quit? Was it just one day you just stopped fiending for it, for lack of a better phrase? Shit. Uh, how the fuck did I start taking that? Oh, you nah. went from one pill to nah, half a some, pill. Like, some, like, for real, for real. Yeah, this way it had got me for real. Like, this girl, like, this girl. She ain't like me on them shit. And then I like, on top of that, did some embarrassing shit on them shit. And it was like, nah, fuck that. I can't be around shoddy on them, on them Zans. And I was, and I ain't gonna count those shit. Every since then, I ain't been, I ain't been on the Zans. But shit, I ain't, like, I don't fuck shoddy no more. It's fuck shoddy still, like, but nah. Nah, I appreciate it for that, though, because she got me out of them fucking bills. Hey. When's the last time you took one? Years. <laughs> shit, I don't know. Shit. That shit got me smiling. I ain't laughing at myself. I'm smiling at myself. I'm happy for myself, though, for real. Because I said years and I meant that. And I ain't had to lie, like, for real. That's growth. Because I really was on them shit bad. I'm talking about bad. But I ain't took one since 2021. And it's 2023. Yeah. Shit, time gonna keep, it's gonna keep going. Time gonna keep going. Now, do you have a horror high story, a bad experience while you were high? <clears throat> Hell yeah. And this could revert to any drug you experimented with in the past. Doesn't have to just be marijuana or Percocet or Xanax. Could be any drug here. Shit. Nah, I ain't gonna care. 
I done got some, yeah, Zans, really? At my horror high story on Zans, but like, it just, this. nah, that's not really a horror high story. I be, I used to be more scared on weed every time I smoke, matter of fact, every time I used to smoke weed, I used to be nervous, like, so when you be nervous smoking weed and shit, cause I used to be young as hell, bad as hell, so I used to always think like, damn, I get in trouble, like, I'm gonna get my little ass cut, like, fuck, like, so, yeah, I used to just be nervous at first, but like, until I started just being like, fuck that shit, like, I'm about to enjoy this blunt, like, this blunt about to make me run. Like, I used to just be nervous, though, like, that shit, and they used to fuck up my high, but it ain't really like, the most thing that happened in my stomach done spin out or something like that, my stomach done got that shit spinning. It, the weed ain't, the weed ain't never made me throw up, though. It made people throw up, but shit ain't never made me throw up. It made me feel like I'm about to throw up before a couple of times. Getting nervous, too, overthinking on that shit and shit. I ain't, but, yeah, and that shit had me dizzy, you know. But nah, I ain't really had no horror ass story, though. That's crazy. Nah, I did. Never passed out on weed? Mm, never passed. I passed out some liquor, but nah, not no weed. Damn, that, damn, I want to get that high. You got to be high as hell to pass on weed.